North American powerhouse and CLG here in the round of 16, this the second qualifier bracket. Uh, most of the same roster as what you saw at the minor, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. All right. Well, Dust, looks like the pistol round is going live at this point. So this is going to be map one of three. Just to remind you about the map choices here, it's Dust 2 chosen by Noble, Cobble by CLG, and then our random map is going to be Cash. And uh, here we go. Noble's going to be uh, CT side. CLG setting up uh, for default. I mean, pretty standard stuff, given it's Dust 2, right? So not too much to say at this point. Okay, uh, a couple of shots being exchanged right there. Cutlers uh, dropping JDM out of the picture real fast, and uh, CLG just not wanting to commit to anything. They're going to take the firefight down mid, and Cutlers still holding the angle. Pops with that long-range uh, USP. So now, down two players for CLG. So having a little bit of struggle here is CLG, but still do have three players up here with armor. You have a couple of smokes left as well as a Molotov, but definitely a lot of damage being dealt. Great job there by Cutlass to get a couple of kills and give them a big advantage here. So you are going to see them still sit fairly default, pretty spread out across the map. Looks like we are going to see CLG trying to see if they can't work their way up. Cat, they do have that Molotov to maybe hit the site and force a player out, but Virtus is playing from A ramp, so he won't really be affected by it. Oh, there it is. You see Tarek jumping on down, picks up one kill. Virtus is super hurt. All Tarek needs to do is take him down one shot. So that's a 2K for uh, Tarek Bomb's gonna go down for Cutler and it's a three-man retake. Yeah, I mean, that's really devastating if you're Noble Esports. You had a five on three and then it's just been evened out, plus the bomb is down. You have Fugly holding off any type of long A flank at this point. Josh is gonna be headed that way. In fact, he will run into Fugly oh. while he does the damage. He can't find the frag and looks like CLG will clean it up. Tarek with the big round. Those were two, you know, fantastic entries over on that A bomb site. To kind of reel the round back in after, you know, a rough start. You got to feel like that was Noble's chance to get something going. I mean, they had the opening kills, but they couldn't hold on. Yeah, quite the turnaround just in the pistol round alone for CLG. Uh, Tarek picking up three by the end of the round right there. Basically undoing all the damage for Noble Esports himself with the entry and then dropping Char. Granted, Char had no chance walking down Cat with three guns trained on him. And it's going to be really fast dust coming out long. There's an entry. You got one more CT to do. No, two more CTs to deal with. With uh, Josh Beam and Flash Jeff. There, yeah, CLG is going to see that and react backing off. Cutler's just kind of watching the angle. Yeah, so they're trying to get to that AK, but Cutler not going to allow that to happen. Able to line up a couple of, you know, pretty free frags. And so now we have what is a four on two. A is going to be able to jump in and grab a kill here in the CT spawn with the MAC-10. And this is pretty much over. So I guess they had their eyes on the prize of that AK, but they had a little bit too much tunnel vision on it, and they wound up getting busted for it. Yeah, bust is pretty much a good word. Bomb finally planted by JDM with Char sitting way back. He just has a pistol, though, taking that long-range firefight. Cutler says, nope, no can do. He really had no chance. You saw Fugly and Hayes working on kind of a, a double flank really, uh, really up close. Pretty clean round right there for CLG. We've yet to see the guns come out, though, Dust. Yeah, that is quite true. I mean, we're pretty gonna, we're pretty much going to see the 3-0 start, right? I mean, there's really not much that's going to be in the way of that happening at this point, as Noble is going to be Ooh. just on a couple of upgraded pistols. We do have some damage being done the flash step right away as we try to cross middle, but otherwise, pretty standard stuff. But, I mean, they're already pulling up cats so quickly here with JDM and Hayes, but Josh actually able to find the kill there with the P250. Hayes does trade it back, though. Yeah, maybe a little bit overconfident, just kind of walking in naked onto uh, a site via cat. They're still going to go ahead and commit to it, though, with Cutler sitting up here, fugly watching the rear end. Uh, watch for the big I flight. I watch your rear end, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> watch for watch for flash step. I don't think the camera's trained on him, but he's going to walk right up mid, along with Cutler. Cutler's taking the shot, and flash step's oh. going to go ahead and back off. Yeah, sorry. I was just still you know, focused me. in on. Yeah. Um, focused on my rear end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're in a 3v2 here, but Josh catching another kill, and he's been a force to be reckoned with this round. He's gotten a couple of kills. He's even possibly going to collect this gun here in lower tunnels, and they have a 2v2, so it's not as if it would be impossible for them to make a retake happen. They're both going to be coming from tunnels. There is a smoke in the way now, though, so they have to kind of wait that out. They do have a couple of flashes as well to use to see if they can't get in here, but, I mean, Hayes does have a pretty good position. He's at a headshot angle, so the 20 HP is kind of nullified by this. 
All right, so the smoke's finally going to go down. Nice flash going to block Haze off. Haze is super low here. 20 HP pops oh. up, walks right into a headshot. So that's going to give Noble a lot of confidence to come walk in. But you got to watch out for Tarek holding the hard angle. Josh BM finishes the job. Oh, bomb sticking away. No kit. No kit, Picks yeah. up three kills. He's out of there. Yeah, I mean, you can't really blame him for not having a kit. This is normally a round where you don't make any investment, right? This is a round that you usually have no business winning. I mean, again, most of this came off the back that that Josh BM had these crazy P250 kills, or he had a 5-7 frag as well, and then he picks up an AK and just makes this crazy play on a 1v1 at the very end. So um, they did a lot of damage, I think, is the best thing to pull away from that. You know, they have CLG at a point now where their first loss would maybe directly lead to a save. There's no, like, real cushion there that was built up so that that's good news for noble if they can in fact win this opening gun round obviously if they can't then clg will be able to catch their economy up and that that ground will be lost so to speak as we are going to see noble starting off with a pretty you know heavy contest at long a to kick things off uh as they will put flash up in the pit now Virtus will walk away with the op watching that cross position and CLG, you know, fairly default for now. JDM does have his op in B tunnel, so that is where he's elected to try to look for a pick to start things off. Now, dual smoke's going to go popping on out. Uh, I think Noble just responded to the first smoke that was thrown on out there. So it's just going to slow down CLG for another 18 seconds. Bomb sticking around by B tunnels. So they're kind of wanting to go towards that direction. Uh, Noble not adjusting their setup one bit. They're going to hold their angles. And watch for it. Might be a little bit weak in mid. There's the mid to B smoke just now being dropped by Fugly. Good counter scenario though from Josh BM though. It's uh, you know forcing them to take damage if they want to try to go to the door and use that smoke for that mid to B split. And they don't have another one. The smoke all CT spawns. They have to use this one and they do begin edging out. But that smoke won't last very much longer. That means Josh is gonna be able to see Fugly if he's trying to run up the B slope. But Fugly's still able to get the kill regardless. And Hayes also following the cut list. So looks like they are gonna be able to make their way into this B bomb site as Char was the last line of defense and he's been eliminated. So. Now Noble, I mean, they're in a 2v4, and any thought of trying to retake has now been pretty much taken care of by that op frag. Yeah, that, that's about it right there. Flash Step realizes how dire the situation is. He's got the M4 and a little bit of armor. That's about it. Certainly enough to go ahead and save. Check out the financial situation, though. The, the Noble Esports, they only got one gun round right here, and they're already spent. Yep. Uh, this is, what, three, four, going to be four lost in a row. They're going to have a decent amount of money right there. If they hang on to the weapon, they can force up around it. Nice kill. Flash depth drop, Tarek making it just a little bit more expensive for CLG, but he's not going to be able to do too much. Hit squad, inbound. He tries to push in the tunnels knowing that he's being flanked from T-Spawn, but runs into Cutler. He will be taken care of, so no chance at saving that gun. And there's a good amount of money on Josh, but not so much on anyone else. So I would suspect that they would just upgrade Pistol here and not try to force anything too crazy. Meanwhile, this allows CLG to build up some bank and give themselves a little bit of extra cash to use in case they were to drop around and not be, they wouldn't be forced directly into a save. Because we are going to see them go for, you know, a pretty quick long control. Tarek going to be leading the charge and he will find the entry on the Virtus right away. Oh. We're following it up with the second frag and CLG pretty much have taken care of everything on this side of the map. Yeah, that, that's about it. You got three players lined up for Noble. And that's a quick and easy entry. And then check Hazed out. Spots two players going on a quick flank straight through tunnels based on those kills, and he's going to line them up real fast with the AK spray. CLG now up five rounds at this point. Noble finally getting guns mm -hmm. on one more time. This is only our second gun round. Mm -hmm. That's very true. And Virtus needs to shine here. He was the opera that looked really good at the minor. He's been a guy that's been a pretty decent opera in the NA scene, you know, at, at the lower levels of CS, like right below pro. He even played a little bit of pro back on what is now AGG, back when they were SKDC. But he, had, he had a little bit of time spent there on that team, and he's usually been pretty decent, but right now he's definitely been struggling. They're going to try to get aggressive at mid, and it does not work out. No, it seemed like CLG had a pretty good read on that situation, and now even more players start flooding in the mid. They don't expect this, and that's going to allow for two kills in favor of Noble Esports. This evens it up pretty good. Cutlass so hurt at this point as they back off. One, one, and one on the, on the defense. Right, so they get it into a three-on-three, three, but now CLG is going to take out Long. Virtus will be here with the op. He needs to hit a shot, but he misses. Takes some damage here. Now he's going to get chased down, trying to get away, but he can't. Cutler able to get the frag, and now it's a 3v2 for CLG. Yeah, Cutler needs to hang out at this angle. Gets one nice clean kill really fast, and gets smoked off. That buys enough time for Char to go ahead and work his way up. Uh, doesn't uh, There might be just a small gap in the smoke, so Char can go ahead and peek ahead and watch for anybody to cross. Bomb still in the far back corner. 
safety. With CLG not pushing up, though, they're going to lose the uh, the cover of the smoke. They need to go up and recover the bomb, but they won't feel very happy. Oh, watch for that, though. One shot by Char. Not enough, though. Tarek Cutler finishing the job. Yeah, so it's kind of one of those debatable situations. Do you actually go out and peek? Yes, the bomb is down in an exposed position, but you're opening yourself up to, you know, a couple of potential 1v1s, and cross is the obvious place for CLG to be watching as they're trying to collect the bomb. So you basically force a duel, or as you could have let them just grab the bomb and just played positions, right? You could have boosted someone inside the site, maybe. Uh, there's just different things that could have been done there. Uh, but what they decided to do did not work is the point. And now we do have Noble bought up, yes, but it is kind of a force. There is an equal exchange at long. A hey, Tarek will recover JDM's op for himself. And that's obviously going to put Noble in a bad way here, as, of course, these types of four-on-four four certainly do favor Terrace for the most part, especially on this map. CLG going to give up map control in favor of just a hard uh, cat hit right here. Fugly on point. Terrace going to go ahead and line up uh, a smoke. So they're just going to do this textbook by the book. Josh BM, the only person they have to really worry about at this point. See how he responds. Gets flashed out. Double flashed out, so he can't do a thing. And there you have it, Fuggy doing the cat drop down play, able to take out Josh BM, and so that pretty much kills the only A defense that was actually on the site. The other player flash up was holding long, just waiting for his team to be able to rotate. And going for a retake at this point is it, the, the chance of success is not very likely, and money is so low on these guys that it might be worth just saving if they can't find a pick quickly. Yeah, the three surviving players all at zero dollars. There's a quick pick, there's a second one right there, so it really shifts the odds in favor of Noble Esports. Terra gonna pick up the AK-47 and just hold the angle. Luckily, he knows that both of them are at cat. And he just watches this. A quick trade, though. Could be all Ooh. that's necessary. Not even needed. A flashbang drops the player. Not enough time. No kits in the hand of Noble Esports, so they have to give up another round despite taking down all the players. Yeah, it was one of those things where I felt if they were going to go for it was conditional on how quickly they could find a frag and if they could, in fact, find one. And they actually found two on the catwalk, so that was enough to prompt them to, to try to go for it. But at the end of the day, they still ran out of time. Not having a kit certainly hurt. And that is one of the things that happens, though, when your money is so low, you kind of have to cut a few corners on the money that you're spending because you don't have that much to work with. Because, I mean, you're just losing all these rounds. Yeah, you're at max loss bonus, but that doesn't do you a whole lot of good on CT side when, you know, you need more utility. The guns are a bit more expensive, so well, it'll come back to bite you. There is some silver lining uh, by killing out all the players and all but one player in the last two rounds. Noble has depleted a lot of the funds for CLGs, so this is actually a really big round for Noble Esports. They just hold off the push one more time. Bombs wanted to work its way towards B site. And uh, yeah, they're gonna be, you're, you're gonna see a little bit of a fake being thrown at A site, followed by what I suspect is a rotation into B. Yeah, I mean, they definitely do have the option to still go mid to V here. They have at least cleared Cat and denied a little bit of information there to Noble. JDM, meanwhile, has brought this op over in the tunnels. Again, trying to look for that B bomb site pick. He has Tarek with him, who normally does play this edge of the map. Again, just kind of illustrating how Tarek has become more of a peripheral role player on this team, just playing these tunnels. With JDM, as yeah, it looks like Philly and Hayes are looking to come out door here soon. Cutler trying to hold people in place at A, but it's definitely going to be that mid to B split you were talking about. Okay, here it is. Got to worry about Josh BM though, who really wants to go ahead and push in. Jo uh, you see JDM trying to find some sort of a pick, some sort of an opening. Picks up two, B side's wide open, and the split also works. So there should be no problem for Tarek to go ahead and drop the bomb. Flash tap taking one, Virtus taking another one over there. So now it's two and three. They have the option to go ahead and retake, but boy, it's it's, it's impossible. It, it's it's really hard to retake B bombs on dust two, even when you have a man advantage. Trying to do it a man down is damn near impossible. I feel like, especially since they are so far away, so no real chance to really even think about this. Just need to save the guns, and again, money is pretty tight over there on Noble. They've not won any rounds. They're yes at max loss bonus, but even with that max loss bonus, they're you know you still only have char. You know, in, in the high 5K range, everyone else is going to be, you know, low 4,000, something like that. So it's definitely kind of a tense moment. This is actually one of those situations where this next round, yeah, they'll be able to buy. But if they lose, they might even be forced to save again despite the max bonus. So that's where CLG can just keep racking up the rounds and put this one out of reach. And I mean, I'll be honest, I can't say I'm too surprised that CLG are dominating. But I would have thought that Noble might have a little bit more than this. But so far, they haven't shown as much of anything. Well, they haven't shown as much in terms of like picking up rounds and all that dust, but 
they've at, they've been able to frag out and and finish off CLG on numerous occasions. They can pick up the frags, but the timing is all wrong. And I, I think you said it right by saying it's so far away from me. I, mean, just, I, I keep thinking of the, the Dire Straits song. That might be the theme song for Noble Esports at this point. They keep picking, uh, picking up the kills, but it's so far away from me. There's one shot right there for Josh Gam, putting them in a slight man advantage. If Cutlass can just pick up this one in mid, not going to happen. Still, they get a pick on the Haze, though. Haze just tries to work up Cat solo. I don't know if there was just a pop flash that missed, didn't catch the CT, so he was pretty much just stuck in a 1v1 duel with no no trading set up. And so it was actually taken by Noble for free. So this has been one of their best opportunities to get around that they've had this game, really. I mean, they haven't had a whole lot of mana advantages like this early in the round, so we'll see if they can capitalize on it. As it looks like CLG just walking into B. Char doesn't even realize it yet. Yeah, look at the way that Terra's been so methodical right here. Bugly watching, double stack, is able to take a nice easy shot off a of char as soon as he pokes his head on up. So it's going to be three and four right now on the retake. And it's, again, you're in a situation where it just looks like a bad idea. Money depleted for Noble Esports. Bomb's going to give them even more cash. And before long does, I mean, CLG is going to look like Screech McDuck jumping in the, the money bin. Yeah, I mean, it's not looking good here for Noble. I almost feel like they're going for it out of desperation because they're, they're so far down the score, but they know they need rounds. They do get a couple of kills here, so they have a three on two. This could actually pan out. Only Cutler is left, but he's flanking the tunnels. I don't think they have any idea that that is going to be where Cutler is coming from. Flash up will actually check it, though, and he does take out Cutler. So here you have it, finally, a round for Noble. So Flash Step finishes the round with three. Again, coming a little bit close on the bomb timer, but this time they're actually able to frag out and then defuse the bomb. One round on the board for Noble Esports. Looked like that was hopeless round for them, though. Where where did that retake come from? They were down a man, right? I'm not really sure what happened. Um, well, I don't think they had the camera in the right place, but maybe some of the CLG's members actually tried to push outside of the B-bomb site and they got caught. Not really 100% sure. I know Flash just was able to get a kill on the flank through B-Tunnels. Maybe just catching a guy on the platform off guard before Cutler's flank could set in behind him. So there may have been some of that as well. Either way, just catching some nice kills there from Noble, winning a couple of duels. Well, and uh, they do get around, but they do need to worry about that money being reset. They did have to rebuy on three players. So money is quite low and a reset now would be devastating. So that is still the one great fear that Noble needs to keep an eye out for as they go into this next round, as they try to see if they can't string a few together and make a comeback. Well, maybe that round is what Noble needs to sort of build their confidence. The first firefight's gonna come down with Flash Stab, who's just slightly out of position, trying to work his way towards Pit. Cutler finds the kill, and now Long Control instantly granted to this team. Virtus gonna go ahead and fall back. A site's been taken, and it's up to Virtus and Josh Gamps try to cut them off on the cross. It's looking pretty dire now for uh, Noble Esports. Yeah, I mean, Cutlass and Char are going to clear out B-Tunnels here, and they're going to make their way over here near Josh at middle. Vert is still holding inside CD Spawn with the op, looking to see maybe he can catch someone crossing or something, but no one's really going to do that. The mob oh, will be Tarek. planted for long by Fugly, and yeah, we'll see what Terry can do. He's hiding. He might not get spotted. Oh, he does. Nice job. Wow, playing the off angle. He even gets the first shot off, and uh, no, Cutlass spraying slowly to the left. I don't, I don't think Cutlass was even sure what the heck was going on. By the, by the time he ended up picking up that kill. There's another one, drop the player, Bugly on sight, and then finishes, what, uh, how many kills is this? Cutlass, three down, he's gonna just jump on over, that's actually Char picking up one, and then JDM watching the angle. Smoke's gonna block him off, and the bomb is fully defused. Yeah, so another good retake here by Noble, that's two in a row, they've been able to retake the site despite CLG being able to, you know, make some headway with the entries and get the bomb down, so. Finally showing us a little bit of life over here on the Noble side of things, and certainly not a moment too soon. It was looking like CLG was building one of those those leads you don't come back from if you're Noble, but now here, if they can keep this up, they can still make a decent CT side out of this. You know, if they can win out and get the seven rounds, it'd actually be a pretty damn good CT side for this map. So we'll see what's going to happen here. CLG looking to work their way up the catwalk, and they do, in fact, out-trade their opponent. Yeah, and Noble Esports getting really aggressive down there by Catwalk as well, so it ended up handing two kills straight to CLG. And uh, for a minute there, it looked like CLG wanted to go ahead and commit to the A site. They spot Flash Tap out there, and then they say, no, you know what, never mind, we're going to back off. Maybe think about B site. So they're going to have four players left. There is one player inside the site that is going to be Char, but quickly dealt with by Fugly, and now all that's left is Flash Tap. And so Noble not going to be able to keep the streak going clg going to bring one right back and money will be reset here there is still some reserve cash on josh and if this gun could be saved by flash that that'd be huge but he's taking so much damage 
They know exactly where he is. It's going to be difficult for him to do so. And yeah, there, it's, there's the end of that. So, CLG up 9 2. Mobile reset. That's going to put them in a bad way, especially Cutlass, only $1,900 right now. Flashed up, maybe getting a little bit too aggressive. Just walk it right out there in the mid. Should have been happy with that one kill. Just back the heck off, try and save the gun so that at least they have something going into the next round. They still have a little bit of cash, though. Check this out. Noble Esports pulling three M4s out. Just a touch of utility. Make that four M4s. And it's going to be a mid firefight. Make that long. Josh BM. What is this? A four stack at long? At least three bodies dropping instantly. Char's going to be uh, remaining at the B site. Dust, suddenly we have a one versus one with uh, yeah. Char and JDM. Char working his way outside the B site. Going for the big flank, too. Very Risky. peculiar 1v1. I mean, they knew that Char was in B. I'm surprised JDM didn't just run long and just go to the A bomb site and plant. I mean, there was really no way Char could have challenged that. He's got an M4. You have an op. If anything, you could just watch the cross for a second to see if he's coming CT spawn or whatever. And then, you know, you just run over and you plant in the A bomb site and then the mom's down and you're good. But regardless, it looks like Char is like held up in T spawn. So JDM still is going to be able to get that free bomb site over here T at A and the plant will go down. And Char, I mean, I mean, what does he do? Yeah, see, Char's not going to have any idea as to what's going on at this point. He figures it out. He's going to go over towards the A site right now, but he's losing so much time. He's going to have to take the fight to JDM. JDM knows exactly which direction he's Timing coming from. Timing strike, though. Will JDM be looking this way at the right time? Oh, he is, no. but he misses his shot, but so does Char. He doesn't quite hit the shots, but he pulls out the pistol. He does catch JDM anyway, so that was, uh, that was a doozy. It's one of those weird 1v1s. That was, wow. that was truly bizarre. Really was. This is really close on the bomb timer right there. Char still figures out which one is it. The red one, the green one, the blue one. Cuts the right wire just in the nick of time. So he picks up two along with Virtus right there. That's important for Virtus too because I'm thinking his confidence must be shaken. Hasn't been able to get the AWP out too many times um, so far on CT half. He's lagging right. his team five, three, and nine so far. We typically see some pretty big things coming from Virtus too. Yeah, like I said, he, he looked really good at the minor, and he's been a guy that I've kind of had my on to see, you know, how he would develop, but just uh, not doing so well tonight. CLG having the good spawn for long A. We'll just go ahead and look to take quick control. Tarek leading the way as uh, he will be posted up now at the platform. Noble have given up long. They're just playing inside the site, and they have a, a double stack on the catwalk. So I think CLG will just kind of leave. Looks like they're leaving... Everyone behind. No one is staying at long. Hey, everyone's coming back. They do finally just leave JDM there with the op, though. He'll go back to pit. Okay, so he's able to pick up possibly a free frag right here. You see Fugly and Hayes working their way down mid. Cutlass watching the angle, just peeking through the crack in the doors. Spots Fugly, but he's not able to go ahead and finish the job. Oh, Hayes standing in the open, though. Drops the bomb. That's big for Noble. Yeah, Hayes is looking to see if he can catch anybody catwalk, which is understandable i mean jdm has long so where do the a guys play they have to be on catwalk or site so he, he was good to keep his eyes on any type of push on catwalk but unfortunately let himself exposed a little bit too long at the doors and so let's able to pick up the free frag here but noble have had a tough track record capitalizing on these main advantages but Virtus is going to make it a bit better with that op frag so it's looking like they might have themselves another round here yeah super aggressive positioning right there turns it into two now Fugly pushes way all the way along. There's no one's watching this angle. Now picks up two frags himself. Make that three. Spots another one way down. That's going to be Cutlass. Now Char trying to work his way down to back him up. Char says, I got your back, buddy. Finishes Fugly off and Noble Esports. Look at this. They were down so many rounds at this point, and they're in a position to, to finish this off. I don't know. Maybe 10-5, maybe maybe even 10-6. Rather 8-6. 9-6. Six. 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 It's okay. You'll, you'll eventually math, get guys. there. Yeah, you're very good at math. I was a math major um, too. Is that sad? Yeah, that, it's really sad actually, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, no, like, yeah, if Noble can get six rounds out of this half, that would still be an okay CT side for this map. I mean, it wouldn't be ideal, but it's not like they'd be completely out of the game either. Especially if a pistol round win came their way in the second half, they could tie the game right up. So it'd be big if they can go ahead and win out, as there is just pistols on CLG now. They're trying to just storm out middle, just chase after this frag. So far, they haven't found it. You see them be even beginning to back down. And uh, now Flashup has this flank, so this is getting a little bit dicey for CLG. Yeah, it's the old one too with uh, Flashup now Cutlass pushing on up. 
TLG just finds himself trapped between a rock and a hard place, completely isolated, completely cut off. This is going to be JDM and Tarek right here, stuck in the tunnels. Char should have some idea that they're in here. Flash Depth now working a flank. Tarek's got a really good angle on him, though, if he chooses to push. There's really not much TLG can do at this point. Bombs down in a terrible spot. They have real no, really no way of getting to it. There's three guys that have focus on this, so this is going to be pretty much over. And yeah, there you have it. So Noble will get up to five, but CLG, having saved that round, will be able to get a full buy going again. They can even drop JDM and Op from Fugly if they want to go that route. And, I mean, you got to figure CLG still liking their chances of winning this round, despite the fact they've let a few go. But we'll see. Again, Noble can get this sixth round, and they'll actually still be in pretty decent shape yeah i think i think noble has to be fairly happy with themselves at this point because it's been so hard fought it's i think clg's yeah. had guns every single round this is the first time that they ever broke their economy finally they got a quick pistol round and that is round 15 right back to guns they've proven they can go ahead and take some of these gun rounds from the team though so as long as they're nice and confident and uh play smart they can make it happen you're gonna see tower power yeah. going on down mid oh fuckly suspects it takes cutlers down and that is one way to ruin an NOA, is just to spam through and fully able to kill the base of that tower. But now CLG has an advantage here, looking like they want to work that op into being, and they're going to boost over the smoke to see if they can't find a pick over at the back of the platform. So far, Char remains hidden. They won't be sniffed out just yet. Meanwhile, the rest of CLG gearing up to hit out mid, so it looks like it's going to be another one of these mid to be splits. Yeah, mid to be. Flash Steps wanting to go ahead and, and do a flank, but it's going to be too, really too late. Josh BM finds himself. Isolated, drops one down, specs window. Oh, he actually gets the window player down, but then he gets peeked out uh, from tunnels. Picks up, what, one kill? Two kills for his trouble. Bomb's going to go down now. It's up to flash step converters. We've seen them do this before, though, Dust. Yeah, but again, the, the, trying to replicate that's so difficult when you're retaking B. I think this is one of the hardest sites to retake in the game, if not the hardest. And you're trying to do it when you're a man down. It's so hard, but... They do have a little bit of utility to work with. They can use this incendiaries maybe to flush JDM out of the back of the platform, see if they can't pick up a free frag here from tunnels. And they do get that kill. Virtus can get it, in fact. But Cutler trades it right away. And they're going to sniff out flash up as well. So, DLG going to get 10 rounds before it's all said and done. So, you know, quite a superior half. But you got to give some credit to Noble. I mean, at one point, they were down, what, like 8-0, to 9-0, zero, to zero, and they still wound up with five rounds. So, at least they had a little bit of a recovery there. But may not have been enough. Yeah, it was, it was actually 8 and 0, down so much. They had quite the turnaround there at the end, but after giving up so many rounds, I mean, what can you do? It was pretty much an uphill struggle, and they only broke the CLG economy, as we were talking about earlier, one time. That's one time only, and then round 15 turned into uh, another full-on gun round for CLG, and they just couldn't pull it together. Stats are now up on the board. Um, obviously, the stat leaders over here are going to be on CLG, but look at Josh BM. And Cutla's also doing some serious, serious work for Noble Esports. So you got to give them a little yeah. bit of props right there at the end of the first half. Flash had a couple of pretty key plays, too. I mean, he didn't have the most frags, but he had a couple of nice impact frags. I think he even, like, won around by himself pretty much. Well, I think um, I, I think his positioning really helped um, help Noble Esports a lot of time because he, he kept going for big flank. And even if he wasn't making those impact kills, he was taking a lot of attention on the other uh, off of the other players who were making big kills, especially when he had the, the crossfire set up with Cutlass down at bottom mid, and then he was up at top mid. So it, it just gave Cutlass the ability to, to step in and, and pick up those frags. And again, yeah, Cutlass with 13 kills over there. Some of that was flashed at. So again, Noble at least getting something out of that half despite a very slow start, but again... You have to wonder if it was enough. I think this pistol round will be kind of the determinant of that. If they can get this, then, I mean, they'll they'll be right back in the game. If they can't, CLG pulls out even further ahead and likely put themselves in position to to get a pretty one-sided map victory here, which was, I guess, somewhat to be expected. But, yeah, I think uh, the yeah, odds we'll are like 10%-ish. Oh, okay. Well, no shocker there. <laughs> okay, pistols. The man to watch, I'm thinking it's going to be Flash Depth, picking up a smoke and a couple of flashes. Virtus also, so uh, maybe Noble has some sort of a set strat underway. They're not yep, going to show their hand just yet, setting up very much default, watching for the push. I'm trying to think what these smokes will be for. Maybe one for top Xbox. Not sure what the other one would Do be. A cat split, yeah. Could be. Could he also still fall back into a mid B. I mean, that's definitely a possibility as well. They do have the raid boss on Josh. 
did drop him a tech down. He bought armor. They're looking to get him in position to do something. He's in the B tunnel, so we'll have to see what they want him to do. Long could be a hard hard sell with Fuglane Tarek setting up this crossfire right here. Yeah, okay, so one of the smokes used to cross mid. Flash step still hanging on to one as they take position at cat. No commitment. So it allows them to clear cat, get that information. They still don't really know what's going on, though. Um, I guess they can assume that there's probably like one mid B, one B, and, and there's some kind of numbers A. Flash up actually jumps out, gets the confirmation, but he's been killed, so that gives CLG a little bit better forces to deal with on this actual retake, and that's a great shot from Hayes on the B tunnels. Okay, a little bit more costly than Noble was going for there, I think, but they're still able to go ahead and take the B site. Char dropping the bomb right now. Cutler's works way in the tunnels. It's going to be a 1v1 with Fugly. Watch for it. And uh, there it is. Takes the fight. Fugly actually wins that one, so Char's going to be left in just an almost unwinnable situation. Not even able to pick up one shot. Fugly picks up two. JDM and Tarek are just chilling in CT spawn, telling campfire stories to each other or something, while Fugly just retakes yeah, Fugly, it by himself. you got this. You got, you this, got this, man. You're all good. You don't need us. We'll come defuse the bomb, but other than that, you got it taken care of. And I think the key kill was actually Hayes getting that kill in the B tunnels. Like, even though there was two isolated in the B site and they were getting split from tons and window, the fact that Hayes killed the B tunnels push yep. and ensured that CLG would have a man advantage on the retake was pretty massive. I think Cutler also picked up a kill on window before going down, which is another pretty big kill. Um, so CLG always able to stay a man ahead was definitely the, the decider of that round. And um, now we're at 11-5. Yeah. CLG up by six rounds. Noble gathering up, clumping up just outside of long A. This time it's going to be JDM watching the angle. Doesn't have the AWP just yet. Not enough money. Too early in the game at this point. Fugly pushed up close. So, obviously not a big investment here from Noble. They got a bomb plant in the first round. They want to be able to get that AK by in the third round. So they're just going to be on the 250s here. Looks like they wanted to storm out long A. Well, they're going to go ahead and go for it. Fugly, though, watch for this man working in hand with Tarek. Tarek actually picks two up for his troubles and shuts the long hand, the long push down single-handedly. <laughs> English, do you speak it? I no idea. That's bomb, though. Fugly spotted it. Nose flash dab has the push the angle. He's going to finish that. So that's two SMG kills right there. CLG taking yet another. <laughs> oh, man. No speaking English, my friend. At least you can speak. My voice is probably going to go out any moment now. I've been sick all week. Hey, hats Finally off went to the to doctor you for today. Sticking, sticking yeah. to it, man. The doc gave me some good pills today, so hopefully it'll be taken care of soon. But, that's um, Dust Moret. Dedication. Casting. Onto the weather. AK is out here for Noble Esports now. Of course, with that first round bomb plan, they are again going to try to go for a pretty quick long A take. They had a good spawn for it. Josh doesn't get out, but this is actually a B attack. This is kind of weird. They do get the kills in the B, though, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And they held the A rotate oh. in place, but that op kill does give CLG a three on three. Yeah, the smoke was just now going down. They just walked right into JDM's um, AWP. A little bit too early. Now Cutlass peeking around the window. I don't think he actually spotted anybody just yet. The grenade's going to announce their presence. To where this smoke or where this molly goes out around the corner not going to do any damage cutlass playing super super close right here might not get checked char takes the window player jdm entries but he's left all alone two kills so far char with three going for the ninja defuse oh my god zone. not like this okay. can't do it all right <laughs> if he would have landed that that would have been would have been rough, but uh, doesn't happen. So Noble able to get themselves on the round. They're at six now. So getting a little bit better here for Noble, but CLG is still well out in front. They do have to take a save this round, though. So this will give Noble a chance to be gaining a little bit more ground. Actually, never mind. CLG decided to force up. They will get two Flamantas out of Scout on the Cutler. A couple upgraded pistols, so not going to let up CLG here. Like watching Lo Wang, sneaky ninja. Not so sneaky, my friend. I didn't get that reference. Ghetto Warrior. Good game. Look it up. Not the new one. The old one. Very funny. Speaking of funny, <laughs> Cutler doesn't think that's funny. Virtus out opping him. Drops was, the mid player. That was taking the jump scout to a place it didn't need to be. Poor Cutler. Light a candle for him. Virtus is waiting for that. 
And then JDM oh. returns. Ouch. Headshot with the scout. That'll give you a splitting headache. Well, Even at least now they know it's a force buy, so Noble should be able to adjust accordingly. JDM. Oh no, it's not even the guy he weakened. He gets both those kills. Oh no, oh no, Noble. That was good. Not though. like this. Spots that smoke coming in, and he doesn't want to get trapped on the other side of it, so he just pushes the angle and he's able to pick up two. Beautiful. Still, despite the man disadvantage, Noble works their way into the bomb site. They're able to go ahead and get the plant for their trouble. And then Char picks up JDM right there. So it's going to be two and two. Very difficult to retake. Let's see how they do this dust. Yeah, I'm kind of curious how they're going to go about this. I guess they're going to go for it. Uh, they do put Incendiary at the back there to clear out the back of the platform. They catch Char to sit in the corner. And then Tarek's going to finish all Virtus. So, I mean, they're just sitting out in the open. I guess they couldn't know for sure that there was no one B tunnels. They were trying to position for that accordingly, but it did not pay off. And so CLG, they take a huge risk with the force buy, but it does pay off. They're up 13-6 now, and you can see Noble, they are hurting for money at the moment. Likely going to have to take a little bit of a save here, and that's going to mean that CLG can edge closer to a map victory. Yeah, that, that was ridiculous. Virtus was actually standing there just behind, um, behind Big Box, and his AWP was completely visible around the corner. Not sure if he was aware of that or not, but he was spotted out early, and that's, that's part of the, the fact of that led to yeah, his death. Also, just Char being way out in the open yeah. didn't help things. Again, I guess they thought someone was coming from tunnels, thought that Char would be set up to defend against that in that corner, but not how it played out. Well, the economy's completely broken right now. A little bit of SMG action and tunnels going to drop Cutlas. Noble Esports thinking about going ahead and committing, and then they just back the heck off. Good timing, too, because Fugly and Tark just start pushing on in, which leaves a site extremely weak. It's a long run, but if Noble can take some position, they won't have to deal with too much. Yeah, but you do have JDM with the op at Goose, like, long range. Ooh. They don't have anything to contest against that with just pistols. And meanwhile, Tarek is now even cutting them off at middle with the help of Fugly, and so they might not even get to make it out there. So there you have it. CLG taking it to 14-6, to six, but... Noble, they will get at least one more decent buy here before CLG walks away with the win. So this is their big chance. They need to make this round work. If it doesn't, next round, they'll have pretty much nothing, right? So this is pretty much for the game. Yeah, this this is so critical critical for Noble. Um, CLG not opting to go ahead and upgrade anything. Uh, Fugly and Cutler still with the SMGs. <laughs> Despite the fact that they still had plenty of cash to go ahead and upgrade. So there is a slight gun advantage for Noble Esports at this point. Maybe no need to go ahead and invest because uh, CLG has so many rounds that they can, at their option, throw away. The Noble slowing it down, not going for any type of quick map control grab on either the map's extremities or just kind of playing it slow, char outside b they did send cutlass through tunnels in the middle clear out lower they could you know go for some type it seems like they're not really thinking about going long it seems like they're thinking more about attacking the catwalk and doing some type of mid to b split and again this is around they need it looks like they are edging out but look at Tarek's spot if they don't check this he could just win the round from here alone watching super slow play yeah, Cutler's he's waiting for his out. teammate to spot this. He's waiting for Cutler to see them first, and then he would peek out. Okay, now's the time. Should be spotted. The shot's exchanged. JDM takes the off shot. That was a long oh, wow. player. Yeah, and Tarek drops Cutler. They didn't That's even the smoke C2 spawn, so JDM was just able to have free reign. Josh BM left all alone. Fugly rotates in. Spots them coming in through tunnels. So now there's all the information in the world for CLG. They know exactly what's up. Char's going to have to go ahead and push the issue, where he's going to walk right into the crossfire between Hayes and Fugly. Same setup as before. This time, it's Fugly hiding behind the box, picks up two for his trouble, putting us on a match point. Yeah, I mean, match hitting mid to B is really hard when you don't have a, a smoke for CT spawn. I mean, it, the, even the CT spawn smoke itself isn't, like, a guaranteed wall for you. Like, ops can peek over it if they're on the slope in the right position. You do have to worry about that position Tarek was boosted in as well. Um, but yeah, to try to just go naked through mid like that, I mean, it was just a death trap. They just got annihilated, and now it's, well, it's likely the last round of the game. All they have to work with here is some, a couple of eagles, a couple of tech but they're going to try to rush into B. They're going to make it into B, no problem. Virtus first one out the scene, and the dip drop by Cutler. Char tries to return fire, and uh, got to worry about the window player. Cutler is able to get out in the mid, not able to drop the window player. 
Actually, he does. Bomb is planted. Three and two on the retake. Turks fugly. Big kills there from Cutlass. That's pretty much what wins in the round. He being able to kill the op rotating as well as the player outside B. That could be the big difference maker. Now you see smoke starting to drop on in. Char playing real close. Finds a little hole. Box one. What is this? Fires right as he enters the smoke before he gets shredded out. Leaving flashed up in a really tough position. Tarek not sure what's going on. Now spots both out. There's one. Josh BM. What is it? Running out of time. Oh, Tarek just no tries time. to stick it. He still picks up the kill for his trouble, but Josh BM waited out the clock. That's four kills. Yeah, I mean, that was a crazy effort there from Tarek at the end. It almost was enough to even pull the round out from underneath Noble, as Noble had a nice little mid-B split there. Again, those Tech-9 kills from Cutlass in middle to eliminate the rotation from CLG was, was a massive play, and that was what kind of ensured the victory, though. It looked like Tarek might just kind of tear through that, but was unable to get there in time. And so we will see this go a little bit longer, but CLG now has that double op set up. Hayes will actually have the second op, and he gets to pick over here in the B on the Virtus right away. Looks like he'll get Cutlass as well. And so CLG, they have a four on three. They call him Tearing Tarek. No, nobody calls him that. Little pressure going on at long. Flash Depth's gonna get flashed out. Uh, but the problem is he's gonna have to go ahead and deal with Fugly down there. In a pit. Oh, the Molly's gonna do a lot of damage. Flushes one out, spots him, and then spamming through smoke. Fugly holds down the angle. Picks up yet another, spotting the bomb. JDM gets himself in a position with the AWP, putting us at a 16-7 scoreline for the end of Dust 2.